A cordial greeting. Today is Tuesday, August 19, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. Here at Hurricane Info we continue attentive to the evolution of Hurricane Aaron which is located just northeast of the Bahamas. Meanwhile, on the other hand we are closely monitoring two tropical waves, including Invest 99 which is located to the south of the Cape Verde Islands. If you want to know more details about the forecast of these two tropical waves, I invite you to look for a video I recorded earlier tonight, which is available on my YouTube channel. Now then, in this video I would like to give an update on the impressive Hurricane Aaron that continues its journey over Atlantic waters and has begun to take that turn toward the north-northwest. Eventually it will be passing between North Carolina and Bermuda, as the size of the circulation will continue growing as it moves north. If we zoom in on the visible satellite animation, we can see how large the circulation of Hurricane Aaron is, which has been weakening during the last 24 hours. Currently it is a Category 2 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 105 miles per hour and apparently earlier tonight it shows signs of reorganization. It is possible that it will strengthen again during the next 24 hours as it moves north. In the infrared satellite animation we can see that the structure of the hurricane no longer looks as healthy compared to what we had during the past days. And this is because wind shear managed to interfere with the circulation. However, now the wind shear has decreased a little and this is why it is anticipated that it will intensify again during the next 24 hours. In this image, see the footprint of the extent of tropical storm and hurricane winds? Tropical storm winds affected the Turks and Caicos Islands and some of the southern islands of the Bahamas, while fortunately the hurricane force winds have remained over Atlantic waters without directly impacting land areas. Although the circulation is expected to grow in size, as it moves north, at least the hurricane force winds will remain over Atlantic waters and there is much consensus that this will be its trajectory, so few changes are expected in this forecast. So at least the eastern United States and Bermuda can be calm that they will not receive hurricane conditions. And although it is expected to strengthen a little during the next 24 hours, it cannot be ruled out that it may again become a Category 3 hurricane. Already from Thursday or Friday it should begin to go through a weakening process until it dissipates in the North Atlantic in about 5 to 6 days. That is what the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center shows, taking that track between North Carolina and Bermuda. But notice that for sectors of North Carolina a tropical storm warning has been issued and a tropical storm watch for some sectors between Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia, as well as for Bermuda. And although the center will be passing far from these areas, the extent of the winds will be extremely large, and this is the reason why these tropical storm watches and warnings have been issued. The expansion of tropical storm wind coverage can be seen in this animation where as it moves north-northeast, notice in orange the areas that could be experiencing some tropical storm force wind gusts, and include the eastern and northeastern states of the United States, from Massachusetts to North Carolina. Also in Bermuda some tropical storm winds can be experienced. We are talking about some wind gusts between 35 to 45 miles per hour affecting coastal sectors of Connecticut, Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, Maryland, Delaware, Virginia, and North Carolina. So there's the possibility that these tropical storm watches and warnings will extend farther north during the next few days. Meanwhile, on the other hand the rain will remain over Atlantic waters and will not be affecting the eastern United States. However, marine and coastal conditions will be extremely dangerous. From North Carolina to Massachusetts waves over 25 feet in height can be recorded along the Atlantic coasts. So much caution with the possibility of coastal flooding, erosion and dangerous conditions for swimmers due to strong rip currents. Well, that is all for the forecast update of Hurricane Aaron. At Hurricane Info we will continue attentive to its evolution and we will record at least one video per day as it moves between the United States and Bermuda. And before I go I wanted to invite you to give a like to this video. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so that you receive notifications when I record new videos. I hope everyone has an excellent night. It will be then until tomorrow.